Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to Transform with Tina. Today I'm actually going to transform my hair. It's been about six months since I started on this crazy hair color journey. As most of you may know, I had like dark, more like the regular ombre hair before, but this year I decided to go a bit crazier and a bit more like brighter with my hair colors. And I love it. I love having like pink hair and like changing my hair colors up regularly. So today I'm gonna to show you guys two ways that I can transform my hair. One is an instant way. So I'll be using a one day color spray from L'Oreal. This is the new colorista range. And the other method that I use if I want something longer lasting is a washout color. These ones last a little bit longer, sometimes about two to three weeks, depending on how regularly you wash your hair. So I'm gonna show you these two methods that I do. So let's start off with the one day colors. These ones you can spray on and you can instantly see the color and they also come off in just one shampoo. So it's great if you don't wanna dye your hair and it's great if you don't have bleach hair because this works on like brunettes and darker colors as well as blondes. So here I have three colors that I'll be playing with today. One is a mint color, the other is a pastel blue, and the this one at the end is the lavender color. Now I chose a great day to wear white, but I'm just gonna cover my shirt with a towel. Now with these, all you have to do is give it a good shake and then hold it about 10 to 15 centimeters away from your hair and you can just spray away. If you want a more intense color, you can spray that area for longer. If not, you can just go through it quickly to get like a bit of color on your hair. So let's do it. I'm gonna try the lavender first. Now I'm just gonna like do bits and pieces of my hair. And you can see the lavender bit come out. Now these sprays work best on dry hair and they dry fairly quickly. So you just gotta give it a bit of time and they shouldn't really budge or move too much. So I'm just gonna grab random pieces and spray this color on and then I'll do the same with the other colors. I'm going to spray on the pastel blue next. And again, I'm just grabbing random pieces. There's no like real formula to this. I just realized my fingers are a bit like unicorn looking. There's like blues and purples in there. Finally, I'm gonna try on the mint color. So that's what it looks like on my hair. Now these feel really light and it doesn't make your hair feel like crunchy or chalky, which I like about that. And it's also really quick and easy to change up your hair color. There's also several ways you can use the sprays. You could use it like I did and just pick pieces and spray them randomly. Or you can also spray ends to make it more like an ombre balayage look. So they're really versatile and really fun to play with. Now, if you want something a bit longer lasting, I'll show you this next method. So I've washed out the spray on color. I still have some of the blue from the old washout one that I use. So I'm gonna refresh this today and add some more blue. This one lasts about five to 10 washes, so much longer than the one day one. This is the one I'll be using, it's a pastel blue. And for these colors, they work best on pre-lightened hair or bleached hair. So in the kit, you get the color and a pair of gloves. This is optional, but I'm going to use a brush and like a mixing bowl to apply the color on. I got these at Priceline. They're pretty cheap and affordable and I've had this for years. The brush makes it a little bit easier to apply the color. And I think I'm going to just do random sections again, but bigger sections and refresh like the old blue part. So first I'm going to empty the color into the bowl. So I'm starting off with this amount first. Notice how I'm much smarter this time. I'm wearing a black top. This is my Iron Man shirt. I actually wear it to bed and it's quite old, so I don't mind getting it stained. And I forgot to mention, I'm also using like this alligator clip to hold up and section my hair. So I should put my gloves on. I feel like the cafeteria lady. I'm gonna section off this top part of my hair first because these are like the shorter layers. And I'm gonna clip it up like so. Now grabbing random sections, I'm going to apply some of the color 
on probably around like the middle to the end first and then use my fingers to like just like blend it up. That way you get that nice like gradient look. And then I'm just going to use a brush this way and paint it upwards just to blend that colour in so it's not so like choppy looking. So now grabbing another section, I'm gonna do the same thing. This doesn't really have to be perfect. And then use my fingers and just push it up. And just work some of that colour up. So I'm gonna repeat this step with like random pieces around my hair. There's no real like method to it, especially if you just want like bits and pieces. If you want to do it ombre, you would do the kind of like the same thing with the fingers blending it upwards with the whole bottom part of your hair. But for me, I'm just gonna do random pieces. So I'm done doing the bottom layer. I'm just gonna add a few on this top layer here, the shorter layer. Oh God, my regrowth is so bad. And again, I'm just grabbing random pieces. So the pieces that are blue, I'm just gonna refresh those areas. I'm pretty much done with the blue now. All I have to do is let it sit in my hair for 15 to 20 minutes and then wash it off. What's really good about this is that it kind of conditions your hair as well. So it's almost like a treatment plus hair color in one. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait and then I'm gonna wash this out and show you guys what it looks like. Here is what my hair looks like after I've washed and styled it. I just quickly curled my hair with a GHD. I just curled it all one direction out that way and the other way and then I just use a brush to brush it through to give me like these mermaid waves. And you can see the color come through here. It always looks kind of like a bit purpley because I put it over a pink. But um, there are some blue bits. And as what I wash my hair, it will get lighter and lighter. Kind of like almost this part here. Overall, this is a really quick and easy way to do your hair at home yourself. If you want, you can get your partner to do it, get your mom to do the back of your hair. And the best thing about it is that it washes out and it's not like a permanent color. Let me know what you think about my hair color and what color I should do next. I don't know, should I stick with pink and still keep blues and purples in it or should I go like a bit crazier? That's it to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Transform with Tina hair edition. <laughs> a lot of you guys wanted to see how I do my hair and that's how I do it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye!